good morning. It is officially time to build a door for our master bath, as well as we need to build a door for our upstairs bedroom. So today we're gonna to be working on uh, measuring out and cutting up our cedar doors uh, to get them ready to go. It's been long overdue, and so I'm excited to finally get to this stage where we can uh, make our last two doors for our little cabin. So now that I've got everything measured out, obviously we need to make some allowances uh, for clearance top and bottom. So I'm taking 3 16 off from the side to side. So I'm starting with uh, 3 16 off uh, from the, the overall dimension here on the door. And I'm going to take a quarter inch off from the top. I may take a little more than that, we'll, um, but we'll start with those dimensions. It's, it's easier to take a little more off than uh, to try and put wood back once you've cut it. Well, I did my best to frame everything in a square manner in this crooked house. So I think the door build will be pretty easy on this one since we've got everything uh, squared pretty well. Well, we're going to be working up here in our pole barn today. We have a pile of two by six cedar boards here. Uh, enough for two doors. At today's crazy lumber prices, that's almost $400, I guess 350 bucks. Uh, used to be a lot cheaper to build these when I first started building them for the cabin, but uh, you know, that's life. Uh, things are a little crazy right now. So anyhow, we got enough cedar to do two doors worth. So these are simply gonna be uh, two panel doors. We're gonna start by cutting the length of our side rails off and then our uh, cross dials. And then we'll just fill in the middle with the remaining measurements for our uh, panels. We're going to do a raised panel like we've done on our other doors. All right, let's get cracking. comes the fun part trying to find some of the cleanest boards for the outer rails um, this is premium cedar boards from Lowe's um, obviously uh, <laughs> we tried to pick the best out of them that they had but uh, you know it's just hard to find premium boards uh, for woodworking like this um, obviously most people aren't building their own doors so you got to kind of pick and choose use the best that you can get and that's where we're at and in all honesty, a lot of the knots and the, the imperfections, um, when you stain them, um, those are actually some of my favorite parts. So, uh, But as far as the edges go, we need those to be fairly straight. Lose the dreams of you and me.
things that I'm looking at doing is uh... Hey Speedy, hang on just one sec while I'm talking. Oh, yeah, yeah, thank you. So one of the things that I'm looking at as I'm going is uh, a lot of the boards are not, I mean they're close dimensional lumber but there's a little bit of variance between everything, right? So I'm just actually making adjustments and measurements as I go. Um, so I measured up my styles and got the uh, thickness, the width of those. And then I also measured the, the, the three rails together, the thickness or the width of those. Um, there's actually an eighth of an inch difference between uh, the one door and the other door on those three boards top to bottom. So um, I'm just making those adjustments as I go. There's gonna be a half inch uh, overlay all the way around for those panels to fit in. So I'm also having to adjust for that. So a little bit of math there. One of the things I'm looking at for the panel, this is the upper door we're looking at here. One of the things I'm looking at for the panels is I'm gonna lose a half an inch on each one of these um, as they're going into those grooves. So our overall width on those doors is uh, 17 and 9 16 for the panel. I need to add an inch to that. So we have 18 and 9 16. So what I'm doing is I'm looking here and I'm, I'm keeping in mind I gotta take out a half inch on each one of these to make sure how wide, how many panels I need to cut. So right now I'm sitting at 21 and a half, so that puts me uh, half inch, half inch, half. so two inches out of here. This one technically won't have one, but we'll just pretend it does, so. So that gives us 19 and a half. We needed, we needed 18 and 9 16, so. So four, four boards will work for the panels on the upper uh, bedroom door. However, when I was measuring out for the lower one, um, I'm gonna need five panels and I'll have to trim a little bit off each end. So uh, just trying to keep those measurements in mind as I'm building the door. And if I did everything right, when it all comes together, uh, we won't have any issues.
All right, we got these things kind of roughly just uh, put together. We're gonna put a bunch of glue on these guys and clamp them together uh, to dry up overnight. Once these are cured up, then I'll cut them uh, on the table saw. It will come down to size. Gotta do a bunch of sanding and then we'd be ready for assembly.
that's going to do it for this video we have two doors done up and those are the last two doors to finish up the cabin so a little more work to do to finish them up Didi's going to uh, stain them and seal them and then of course I got to put the hardware on and hang them uh, but uh, feels pretty good to get the, the bulk of everything done so we'll be working on finishing these up in a future video so stay tuned for that you'll see them uh, get finished and put up well, you know it's been a good day when your wife's got to use the shop vac to uh, hose you down, uh, get all the sawdust off you. So, uh, it's Sunday night, it's way past dinner time. I should probably get in and, and get something to eat. So, thank you so much for joining us. Hope you guys have a good night. We'll catch you on the next one. Mm -hmm.